Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a BMW 535 xDrive GTM Sport. This is a single owner clean title, clean Carfax car. I think it's got 30,000 miles on it. One of the really nice things about this car is that it's got a BMW factory warranty until February of 2021 or 50,000 miles. Uh, we can finance it through Cuddle. I can put an extended warranty on it until 100,000 miles and we welcome trades. So the 5 Series GT is uncommon um, in the States, probably a little more common in Europe. Uh, it's probably in theory it was built and designed to replace the wagon, although probably I don't think it's done that in, in this country, but um, we like the wagons. Um, so surround view cameras on this, is, you can tell by the dimple here, uh, just an M Sport. Uh, people like it because of the hatch in the back, so it gives you a ton of room for hauling stuff or for moving stuff around. It's got a clear bra on the front uh, on all the door um, handles and on the seams. It's very well equipped. It had a $77,000 MSRP, which is a lot of equipment. It is an all-wheel drive, so the GT all-wheel drive has been a hard car to find for us. And we're typically buying them when we can find them equipped like this. But you can see cosmetically it's really clean. It's got a power trunk or a power lift gate. So you have roof rails and then these seats fold down flat all the way into the back so you can see that it's got a huge amount of uh, room in the back and then you've got additional storage under here. And then you hit that. So super clean. I think the 5 Series is probably the best all around build um, for BMW as far as Optional equipment available, quality, ride, handling, and function. I think probably if you looked at the rest of their stuff, at least in my opinion, they would all, this probably is the best overall, whereas the one, well, now the two, threes, or fours, or sixes and sevens all kind of have a specialty. Um, it's just a really well-built car. They've, uh, they really sorted this car out um, after, uh, it was 2011 or 2012. Heads-up display. You have really nice leather in this, so you have a premium Napa leather product, which is super supple, really soft. Uh, handle here to drop your seat. You have power sunshades, Harman Kardon sound. You have switches here to control either side sunshade or the back. You have rear heated seats. You have a panoramic roof and soft closed doors. So you, cl you just close this door halfway and it will close the rest of the way for you, which is nice. Once you get used to that, uh, it can be annoying when you deal with a car that doesn't have it because <laughs> you get used to it. So we're not buying 5 Series or X5s without at least a minimum of a multi-contour seat, uh, which this has. It's just such a, it's one of the best seats in the European market. And if you see a flat seat on an X5 or a 5 Series, that's an automatic pass for us. It's just such a different driving experience. You can tell, uh, so this is your safety equipment um, and part of Driver's Assistance Plus. Uh, you also here have an illuminated, uh, that's your heated steering wheel, part of cold weather. Let me close the roof for you just to show you. So another uncommon um, and part of Driver's Assistance, this does have adaptive cruise. That is a very hard option to find on a 5 Series and an X5, surprisingly enough. So you can see the passenger side door is really clean, passenger side seat. Very clean dash, clean. We're picky about our stuff, so now this would be a surprise, but if you're not as familiar with our company. So you do have ceramic controls, so the black trim on all the controls. Center console. So auto hold, which is a, uh, a system to keep you on a hill uh, during the time you're moving your foot from the brake to the accelerator or vice versa. Parking sensors, your camera system. Hill descent control, sports, comfort, and uh, echo settings. Of course, your transmission, your iDrive. You can um, use this again. You'll notice the finish on these. Super nice with ceramic. Uh, heated seats, dual auto climate control, programmable buttons here, CD player. Storage here if you're not familiar with that. We do have, I believe, uh, yeah, full set of books, and I've got uh, two master keys. So M Sport. Multi-function steering wheel paddle shifter, so on the right is an upshift, on the left is a downshift. You'll see I'm wearing gloves, COVID stuff. Uh, adaptive cruise, you can tell by the additional buttons here uh, with print on them. Uh, volume control, voice activation, Bluetooth stuff. Uh, power tilt and telescoping wheel. 
Uh, there's a ton of stuff to go over here as far as gear goes. So if you put this in reverse, you're going to get a backup camera. Or, so be, you'll see this indication over here. So that because that's not checked, you're currently looking at a surround view. And if you pull, if you open your doors or if you fold your windows in, you're going to lose that. So if you get in and that's what you're looking at, typically it's because something's not right and maybe your uh, mirrors are in. So if I if I select down to my iDrive, that's going to put a check in that box and that's going to give me the. Um, backup camera if I hit the camera in the center console that gives me the scent uh, the right center the two yellow lines here are giving you an indication of where that view is headed uh, so then uh, Bluetooth so it's got enhanced Bluetooth so super nice Bluetooth stream audio text messages you know all that stuff uh, vehicle information so quick reference they now have um, owner's manuals that are all done digitally which are nice so you can uh, do it there or you can go by pictures pictures is pretty easy to scroll around and select whatever it is you're looking for um, trip computer vehicle status so this will tell you where your service stuff is your tire your engine oil level stuff like that service required or not everything is good on this brake fluid rear brake pads engine oil vehicle check front brakes emissions etc uh, radio, so you have satellite radio, uh, HD radio, navigation, super nice navigation system, media. So again, you do have, and you have a hard drive on here, so you can store music. It will play a DVD up front. Uh, it'll it'll stream audio through your um, phone. Uh, you've got sport settings on this, so sport is anything here is going to be changed, or you, any of those red areas will be affected. Uh, and then if you go to comfort, and then you have Echo Pro so which makes things more efficient probably if you're buying this car not a lot of people are going to use echo pro but it's nice to know you have i guess um so if you go down here to settings you're going to have some other stuff so uh up here heads up display your instrument cluster uh echo mode front collision warning your ability to set the um the distance and the warning tailgate lighting stuff like that uh these are so if these are indicated lane departure um, blind spot I never can remember what these are so if you've got a triangle in a uh, side view mirror here with BMW that's an indication this generation you have blind spot you can turn these on and off and then this is your heads-up display to activate or deactivate and on this uh, this generation it does have traffic sign recognition so it's going to tell you that uh, what your speed is um, and what the posted speed is three buttons up here programmable for security gates and garage door openers that's called home link it is a black headliner uh, as I mentioned panoramic roof uh, leather center console I mean it's really clean this is a super nice car 35,674 miles so you've got another 14,000 miles of warranty or until February of next year uh, we can also um, put a warranty on it out until 100,000 miles it's going to cover uh, basically anything mechanical anything electrical so super nice single owner uh, car if you have questions or would like additional information please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503 227-2354 and we'd like to thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.